Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make some little Easter eggs that you could use as a cat toy, a dog toy, a baby toy, or just a household decoration for Easter. For this project, you're going to need a crochet hook. I am using an itty bitty 2.5 millimeter hook today. You'll also need some yarn. I am using this mercerized cotton. It's about a number three. And you'll also need some scissors and a yarn needle to weave in your ends. I'm also going to be stuffing my egg with some batting if you don't have batting you can use some scrap yarn, some scrap fabric, or whatever you've got around that will be soft inside of a crocheted egg. So gather your supplies and let's get started. First things first, we're going to begin with a slip knot. Then chain two. There's one and there's two. Now in the second chain from the hook, one and two, we're going to put a single crochet. So insert the hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over again, and pull through both loops on the hook. That is one single crochet. Plus the chain stitch counts as a second single crochet. So right now we have two stitches in that stitch. Now we're going to add another seven stitches for a total of nine stitches in the round. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now I'm going to draw the hole that is the middle of our round. I'm gonna draw that nice and tight to close up the circle. Now it's time to join our first round. So we're going to insert the hook into that chain one from the beginning of the round. Just gonna insert the hook into that stitch. And then we'll yarn over and close that round with a slip stitch, just like that. And then I'm going to chain one. So now we've got nine stitches in the round. For the second round, we're going to put two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. At the end of round number one, you should have 18 stitches in the round. And 18. Now I'm going to join the round again, but I'm going to join the round a little bit differently. So instead of inserting the hook through the front of the stitch, or like that, that's how I would normally close the round. Instead of doing it that way, we're gonna come through the back of the stitch. So same part of the stitch, but we're coming through it backwards with the hook. This is gonna make that seam line, that join invisible. And then we'll join with a slip stitch. Now, for round number three, we're just going to single crochet all the way around. One single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So at the end of round three, you should still have 18 stitches. Here I am at the end of round number three. I'm going to join the round again with a slip stitch, but through the back of the stitch, just like that. And then I will chain one. And now we're gonna put two stitches into the first stitch. And then in the next stitch, we'll put one single crochet. In the following stitch, we'll put two single crochets. There's one, there's two. And in the following stitch, one single crochet. And I'm gonna repeat that all the way around, just two single crochets in one stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch, back and forth, back and forth, all the way until I get to the end of the round. And I'll meet you at the end of round number four. And here I am at the end of the round. I'm gonna join again with a slip stitch through the back of the stitch so that our seam is nice and invisible. And then I'm going to chain one and now for round number five, I'm gonna put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Here's what we're looking like at the end of round number five. I'm gonna join my round with a slip stitch through the back, and then I'm gonna chain one. For round number six, I'm going to put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. For round number six, I'm gonna start with two single crochets in the first stitch. Then in the next stitch, I'll put one single crochet. In the next stitch, one single crochet. In the next stitch, two single crochets. In the next stitch, one single crochet. In the next stitch, one single crochet. In the next stitch, two single crochets. 
So it's going to be two single crochets in one stitch and then two stitches with one single crochet in each, repeating all the way around. At the end of the round, I'm gonna join the round as I have been, just slip stitching through the back of the round, and then I'll chain one. Now for round number seven, I'll start with a chain one, and then I'm gonna put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Here I am at the end of round seven. I'm gonna join the round with a slip stitch through the back of the stitch, and then chain one. For round eight, I'm gonna start with two single crochets in the first stitch, and then the next three stitches, one single crochet in each stitch. One, two, three. And then in the next stitch, two single crochets. One and two. And then in the next three stitches, one single crochet in each stitch. One, two, three. And then in the next stitch, two single crochets. I'm gonna repeat that all the way around for round number eight. And here I am at the end of round eight. I'm gonna join with a slip stitch through the back of the stitch, then chain one. For round number nine, I'm going to put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Now for rounds 10, 11, and 12, we're going to do the same thing we did for round number nine. So we're just gonna single crochet one time in each stitch all the way around. I'm gonna just zoom through this part because it's just single crocheting in the round and I will meet you back here at the end of round number 12. All right, I've just finished round number 12. I'm gonna chain one. And for round number 13, we're gonna start by single crocheting into the first five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. Next, we're going to single crochet two together. So I'm gonna insert my crochet hook into the stitch yarn over the hook and pull up a loop. Then I'm gonna insert the crochet hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. There's three loops on the hook. I'll yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Now two single crochets have become one. The next five stitches, I'm gonna do one single crochet in each of the stitches. Two, three, four, and five. And in the next stitch, I'll single crochet two together. Then I'll single crochet into the next five stitches. Three, four, and five. And then I'll single crochet two together. And I'm gonna repeat that all the way around for round number 13. I'm gonna start round number 14 with a chain of one. And then I'm going to single crochet one stitch in each stitch all the way around. Here I am at the end of round number 14. I'm joining my round with a slip stitch and then I'm gonna chain one. And now for row number 15, I'm going to single crochet into the first five stitches again. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm gonna single crochet two together in the next stitches. And then I'll single crochet into the next five stitches, and then I'll single crochet two together following that. I'm gonna do this repeat all the way around for round number 15. For round number 16, I'm gonna start with a chain one, and then I'm gonna put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And now I'm starting round number 17. I'll start with a chain one, and then I will single crochet into the first five stitches. It's the same, it's gonna be the same for a couple more rows. So the first five stitches will single crochet into four and five. And then I'm gonna single crochet two together. And then single crochet in the next five stitches, then single crochet two together. It's gonna be the exact same thing all the way around for round number 17. Now for round number 18, I'll start with a chain one, and then I'm going to put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. I'm actually gonna do this for round number 18 and 19. So 18 and 19 are just a round of single crochet all the way around. All right, I just finished round number 19. I'm gonna start round 20 with a chain of one, and then I'm going to single crochet into the first five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. 
Then in the next stitch, I'm gonna single crochet two together, one and two. Then I'm gonna single crochet into the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Then in the next stitch, I'll single crochet two together. I'm gonna repeat that all the way around. So single crochet in the next five, then single crochet two together. Now, before we start the next round, I'm going to add some stuffing. So it's just gonna make it filled out and you'll be able to see the curve a little more clearly. Now for round number 21, I'll start with a chain of one and then I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Now for round number 22, we're gonna start by single crocheting into the first five stitches. One, two, and five. And then we'll single crochet two together for the next stitches. And then single crochet into the next five, and then single crochet two together. This will be a shorter round. Now for round number 23, I'm gonna chain one and then single crochet in each stitch around. Almost there. So close, starting to look like a little egg. Now for round number 24, we'll start with a chain one, and now I'm gonna single crochet the first two stitches together. And then I'm gonna single crochet into the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And then I'm gonna single crochet two together. and then I'll single crochet into the next four, and then I'll single crochet two together. We're almost at the end here, folks. So for the next one, we're going to single crochet two together for the first stitch, and then we're going to single crochet two together for the second stitch. And we're actually going to single crochet two together all the way around. This is going to nearly close up the round, not quite, but nearly. So single crochet two together all the way around. This is your last chance to add any more stuffing if you think that your egg needs more stuffing, but I think I added enough at the beginning, so this should be fine. And if you'll believe it, that was actually our last row of crochet. So I'm gonna cut a long tail, and then I'm going to chain one and pull that loop all the way through. Now, using my yarn needle, I'm going to close up that hole. You can see there's just a tiny hole left. And to close up that hole, I am going to just stitch it closed. So I'm going to take my needle and pull it into the first stitch and then insert the needle into the second stitch and then into the third stitch and the fourth stitch and repeat that all the way around until I'm back at the beginning. There we go, I made it back to the beginning of the round and now I'm gonna pull that tail just to close that round up. And now to secure off and to make sure that your ends are all woven in, you can just stitch that hole closed if there's any gaps and just sort of use the yarn needle to weave your ends in while at the same time doubling as reinforcement for that stitch at the top. And there we go, now the hole is closed up. So I'm going to insert the needle down through the middle of the egg and push it through the bottom where we started. Then I'll just pull that and trim the yarn. Then I'll just sort of smoosh around the filling on the inside to make sure we've got a really nice egg shape. You can see the taper we did made for a nice perfectly round bottom and then a nice pointy top. Then we'll just sort of moosh it around. And just like that, we're done. Easter eggs, easy to make, really simple, worked in the round, super cute, super useful if you've got a cat that needs a cat toy. Instead of filling that with just batting, you could have added some catnip perhaps. And you could make them in lots of different colors. I did one that was stripey, so I switched the yarn. I also tried a little bit of cross stitch and embroidery with some embroidery floss on there just to see what it would look like. But I think these are so cute and I am going to be giving these to my nephew to 
probably just chew on because he's a baby, but still, Easter eggs. Simple Easter eggs. What do you think? I think they turned out so cute. I think I'm gonna make like a dozen of them and then just fill an egg carton. They're a little finicky because it's with a small crochet hook and with small yarn, but I think it's worth it. I think these came out really, really cute. And I hope you give it a try because I mean, it's a simple, quick project. I think you could get this done in a half an hour and then you're left with kind of a cute little toy. If you've got a dog that doesn't chew too hard, these are good little dog toys, but I think these are gonna be for a baby. Anyway, friends, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I do hope that you'll give it a shot as well. Just in time for Easter, you could make some little decoration eggs to sit on your counter or to, I don't know, whatever you wanna use them for, you can use them for, but they are little Easter eggs. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to my patrons for supporting me this month. Here is the list of everyone who is supporting me this month on Patreon. If you would like to join and help the channel out, get early access to videos, access to our private Discord, server as well as some other cool stuff too. Check out the links in the description down below. Anyway friends, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!